streaming series, The Bear, on Hulu. I see some of you have, some of you haven't. That's right, I can see into your living room. Let me catch you up a little bit if you haven't watched it. The series follows high-end chef Carmi Versato and his kitchen team as they turn a sandwich shop in Chicago into a fine dining restaurant. Lots of drama, lots of stress, but let me tell you, anything that any of the chefs make looks absolutely delicious. And we all cannot pay a visit to a fictional restaurant, but we can go to a real restaurant right here in town, Napa on Providence, where they will be making the bear inspired meals for a limited time only. Here to give us a taste is regional executive chef David Sears and Amy Larson, who's the president of Conway Restaurant Group. First of all, Welcome to you both. Thanks for Thank being you. here. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Um, I don't know why more restaurants have not done this sooner. I think this is a brilliant idea. Uh, Amy, talk me through where this idea came from. Well, my husband and I are huge fans of the show yeah. and um, waited very patiently for season three. Yes. And um, one of our, our thoughts was they, they do so many interesting dishes and really kind of give you an inside peek into the, the magic that's happening behind the scenes. How could we bring that uh, to the table so that people can actually try some of these dishes they're seeing on the screen? Yeah, so how is that going to work at the restaurants? So um, we have two locations, uh, Napa uh, at Kingsley and Port Mill, and we have Napa on Providence in the Eastover uh, neighborhood, and each one is going to host a um, one-night event. And um, the chefs are going to uh, cook through a, a menu that does encompass all three uh, seasons. Some of the uh, favorite dishes, you know, of course, you've got your Italian beef where it all began. And uh, what, what Chef is uh, cooking is one of the, um, I think, iconic dishes, Sydney's uh, cola short rib and risotto. Yeah, Chef, talk to me a little bit about this. You had the risotto in there. What have you added so far? So traditionally with any risotto, you're going to start with some type of stock. We're doing chicken stock today. We're throwing in some foraged mushrooms, a little bit of Parmesan, mm -hmm. uh, adding chives just to kind of bring some herbaceous to it. Uh, but the star of the show is what's in the oven, which we're going to be bringing out shortly, which uh -huh. is going to be obviously that slow braised uh, Cola short rib. So. When, when I, every time I talk to a chef, I feel like a nerd asking, but I'm always like, how real is it? How real is the show? Is the show? <laughs> the anxiety levels is real. The anxiety yeah, level is 100%. real. So Jorge's um, right. He shouldn't yeah, watch it. 100%. <laughs> but yeah, it's, and, and this is actually one of the reasons why it is that we were so inspired by the shows because it really kind of encompasses what we do as chefs. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the big thing that kind of hit home with us more than anything else is the fact that, you know, this is a, this is a local restaurant that's trying to kind of show themselves and, 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 and get to the next level. And, you know, with us at, at, at Napa, um, and the Conway Restaurant Group, you know, we are a, we're a close-knit family yeah. restaurant group. And, you know, it's, it's all about supporting your, your local uh, restaurants and supporting your local businesses. So for us, it kind of really hit home and was kind of a necessity for us to really say, let's, let's be a homage to uh, what that show is all about and kind of showcase what it is that they do. And, and, and excite people who are fans of the show sure. to actually come in and say, wow, that looked amazing. I wish I could try that. I wish I could taste that and actually try it and taste it. I think it's a right? brilliant idea. How much fun was it coming up with the menu? Uh, it was an absolute blast. I bet. And how did you know? I, I mean, obviously, these are your your takes on those dishes, right? Yeah, these are our takes. Um, but again, it, it that 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 show kind of gave us the blueprint, mm. right? And and. One of the fun things about what it is that we do is being creative. Um, so it was a matter of us saying, okay, what were they doing that was fun, exciting, mm -hmm. um, and trying to do something, I don't want to say similar, but something that at least kind of gave you a feel at home of exactly what it is that they were doing and get to try it here with us. That is so cool. I right. love it. Um, people are going to go crazy for this idea. What I do they need so. to know about coming in? Uh, making reservations, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so you can um, go to our website at www.eatatnapa.com and it will direct you. You can choose your site. Um, we have uh, two dates available. October 23rd is at Napa on Providence. October, I'm sorry, August 23rd at uh, Providence and August 28th at Napa at Kingsley. And uh, you can make reservations um, online. 
I would guess if these are wildly successful, oh. y'all might do it again. We mm. most certainly will. Most certainly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> most absolutely. certainly will. I love it. That dish is beautiful. I'm gonna, chef. I'm gonna get a couple of forks and share it with Jorge. Does that please. sound okay? Yeah, of course. All right, Jorge. I'm gonna bring some over to you, even though you haven't seen the show because you're so worried it's gonna stress you <laughs> out. I think you're gonna enjoy this dish. Listen, that looks delicious. I know. So I know. Two forks, please. Yes, got them. <laughs> got them right here in my hand.